hey guys welcome back to sticky squad thank you guys so much for stopping by again in today's recipe you guys in today's recipe i'm going to be showing you how to make oat milk yogurt one thing i love about this is that it's easy to make and the best part of this recipe is that it is very inexpensive like it's a good substitute for plain greek yogurt which is made with cow milk and i love it because it's so healthy it's dairy free and low fat now all you need for this recipe is just few ingredients around your kitchen okay so you guys stay with me let me show you how to achieve this creamy delicious yogurt so the first ingredient i have here is my coca oats i've not tried using steel cuts or any other um oats but this is what i have in my kitchen which is the coca oats so i love using coca oats a lot so this is the one i will be using so you guys let me show you how you are going to use this to achieve this oat milk yogurt so inside my blender i am going to be adding two cups of coca oat now for this we don't want this oat to be so slimy so i'm gonna be using cold water yes so you need to use cold water for this recipe okay so now after that i'm going to be pressing the pause and let this blend for just 20 to 30 seconds because we don't want to um work hard or put too much pressure on the oats so blend it for just 20 to 30 seconds and then we are going to get the milk you guys this is you can drink this milk but for the sake of this video we are making yogurt so pour it in a sift bag or in your chiffon cloth and then strain it for your sifting bag you can get it from amazon but for this one i got it from nigeria my mom sent it to me so yeah go ahead and allow it to you know squeeze out the milk on its own do not put pressure on the milk because the more you put pressure on the milk the milk is gonna be slimy and we don't want that just gently press on the chiffon cloth so that it will extract the milk So you guys after about 45 seconds to one minute i am done extracting the milk so now we are going to go over to the stove let me show you how to make this meanwhile this is the chaff i'm going to show you what you're going to use this to make so guys now into the pot i am going to be pouring in the milk you guys look at how creamy this milk is look at that this is just your oat milk in case you don't want to go further go ahead and sip this milk but we are making yogurt so turn on the heat on medium low or just on the low and we are going to cook this for just five minutes i set my timer to make sure that i cook this for five minutes until it starts to thicken up a little bit we don't want to overcook it because we're trying to create this creamy texture of yogurt so yeah i set my timer for five minutes and it's done and uh, we are going to turn off the heat and set this aside let it cool down completely so you guys let me show you what i got from the um, oats this is just the chaff i am going to be using this to create another recipe that will be coming up very very soon so you guys after about one hour i want it to cool down completely after about one hour i'm going to be using two tablespoons of plain greek yogurt because i'm using two cups of oats for this so i'll be using two tablespoons of greek yogurt because of the probiotics that is in this um yogurt so we need it to make the next batch of yogurt so go ahead and give it a quick stir and make sure everything is well combined so you guys another tip i want to give to you is that if you don't have yogurt in your house and this is your last yogurt what you're going to you 
what you're going to do is that you will save just a tablespoon for your next batch and when you save that you can make the next batch within seven to ten days in order to maintain the yogurt culture which is very very important so now into my messenger i am going to pour in this creamy yogurt you guys look at that it is just the perfect oat milk yogurt you could ever ask for so go ahead and pour in everything in your messenger and then i will show you the last thing we're going to do if you're still watching up to this time thank you so much if you have not subscribed i want you to subscribe click on that button that says subscribe to be a part of my family i would really appreciate you guys help me and push this my channel so you guys we are done with this go ahead and cover it and set it aside in a warm temperature or anywhere warm around your house so i feel like putting it by the side of my microwave you can go ahead and put it in your oven so guys this is the next day which is complete 24 hours you're going to allow this to stay for 24 to 48 hours but you guys in the next 24 hours i am ready for this did you see how thick this is i used my spoon to check it before and then i'm checking it again you see how creamy it is this is exactly the consistency that we're looking forward to have so now this is it i am going to serve myself this delicious oat milk yogurt you guys look at that i love the consistency of this yogurt okay and i hope that you watching this video will love this as well now for the toppings i am using my diy or homemade low carb granola okay <laughs> yes you guys i made this myself i will be sharing with you guys the recipe as well so yeah i'll be adding some strawberry and um blueberry and peach so you use anything you have around your kitchen guys did you see this plate it's loaded with goodness and the messy as you eat this you guys i promise you you are going to forget your worries that particular morning i'm telling you guys so at the end of the day top it up with your agave nectar or your date syrup but here i am using honey because this is what i have available so you guys as we dig in our soup our spoon you are able to collect as much as you can look at how thick it is so you guys we have come to the end of today's video thank you guys so much for watching this video if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe and be a part of my family bye